Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Sagittarius. This is Queen of Moonrock coming to you with a very special reading on today, Sagittarius. Hopefully you all are having a great day today. But then again, I know you are because that's the intention you said. Yes, Sagittarius. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Sagittarius. Happy new moon. <laughs> if you're new, welcome. This is a general reading. These cards are the Light Series Tarot deck by Chris. And these cards right here are the Sacred Self-Care Oracle deck by Jill Pyle. Again, this is a general reading. So take what resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. Let's go. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my wonderful Sagittarius. As it relates to every area of their lives, specifically in areas of power and intellect, money and wealth, creativity and emotions and spirituality. And where they need to take action. What information do we have from our wonderful, smart, caring, deep thinking, honest, loves to have fun, generous, idealist, um, who also have a great sense of humor, gods and goddesses. That would be you, the archers. Yes, Sagittarius. Let's get straight into it. Again, happy new moon. Uh, hopefully this is not getting people all out of sorts with the energy of the full, full moon. That full moon energy. If I said new moon, I meant to say full moon. But yes, hopefully it's not getting people out of sorts, right? So the um, full moon, you know, for you, of course, can bring back a lot of memories of relationships and things like that. Whether it's coming through visions, through dreams, through just remembering, you know, relationships that you've been in, you know, in the past. But it's also giving you a precursor into the future, right? If you want to say, because time is really an, an illusion, but it's kind of giving you a precursor into the future. Like, okay, what did I learn from my past relationships? And this is not putting blame on anybody in particular, but what did I learn from my past relationships? Do I, do I gel well with this type of personality given my personality? Um, what I will accept versus what I won't accept? Is this something to me that you know, starts to look at people differently. But yeah, I want you to change your your uh, your perspective on relationships. Like really, you know, think about it like, okay, so you're in this new phase, right? This new moon phase. And so your new moon phase shows you a lot of things. Who can come to the next chapter with you versus who you need to leave behind. Um, what were the pros and cons of being in that relationship, whether it's a working relationship, which is professional, um, a platonic friendship or romantic relationship. What what did I learn? Like what what a, what a can I what best practices can I use moving forward in my relationships? Right. So this is about changing perspective, right? Because sometimes you have crossed paths with really really good people who um, who were just not on the same frequency. And actually, those are some of sometimes the hardest relationships to disconnect from because. You know, I mean, when you really think about it, it's like, I really don't have anything bad to say about the person. We just don't vibe. I mean, we're not, and that's the same frequency. We're not on the same vibration, right? We just don't vibe, right? I don't have anything bad to say about it. It's probably best that we left on a high note versus, you know, the cattiness of you did this to me and I did this to you. And now I got to explain this and then going around and around and around in circles. So some of you all may feel like you're by yourself at this turning point, but this is a new chapter that you're in. So here's the beauty of being in a new chapter, Sagittarius. You get to write every single intention out. That's all on you. That's 100% you. So you're not by yourself. Let your ancestors guide you. Let the most high God, the universe guide you moving forward, right? This is your opportunity to write out the chapters of your own life, right? That's where you'll start to see the breakthrough happen. It's like, okay, wait a second. This is a whole different mind shift. I need to shift my mind away from focusing on the past relationships. Because a lot of times people, even though you may physically be out of a relationship, some friendships some romantic relationships, or even a job, still carry the thoughts, that energy into your new chapter, which is really unhealthy unless you're using it for best practices. What did I, what can I take away from that? What are my takeaways from that? Right. What did I learn? You know? Um, but yeah, that's where you're going to have your breakthrough, which is nice. Right. So I can tell in the past that some of you all have gone through a great deal of anxiety and stress, maybe some depression, some tears and all of that, but you still weren't alone. What did you learn from that relationship, those relationships from the past? What did you learn from those relationships, right? Your intuition should be extremely heightened now because when you're in a relationship that seems challenging, where there's tears, there's some frustration, anxiety, there's an enormous amount of energies that goes to that, towards this, 
to be crying and frustrated and sad thinking you're by yourself. But now that you're out of it, come out of it emotionally and mentally moving forward and listen to what your intuition is trying to tell you. This is your third eye. Your intuition is trying to show you that you'll be moving. If you haven't, uh, some of you all will be buying a new house. Some of you all will be moving into a new apartment. Some of you all will just um, be refinancing. But nevertheless, there's new on the horizon. You don't want to take the old energy and just even remembering, unless again, it's for best practices. What did you learn in those past relationships? Did you glean anything from those past relationships? Because I can tell you this. A lot of people are gleaning from you all, Sagittarius, right? And so um, you want to focus on standing in your power. And this is what I'm looking at right here. So anybody who may have intentionally hurt you or did anything, talk negatively about you or whatever, things are not going very well for them right now. But the people who are good people that you were just on a different frequency when there's a lot, like kind of tricky situation there, yeah. Your intuition is extremely heightened. So you'll be receiving messages from the universe. The way you may, re may be receiving you, uh, messages from the universe, Sagittarius, is through seeing um, synchronicities and numbers like 11, 11, 12, 12, 13, 13. You can see 1, 1, 1 or 2, 2, 2 or 3, 3, 3, all, you know, all the way up to 9, 9, 9. But again, that's how your messages are going to be coming through, right? I don't even want you to overthink it at all. Like, okay, that's the messages that's trying to come through. It can come through on a gas, like a um, like a gas purchase receipt when you go to the gas station. It can come on a receipt, a grocery receipt when you see numbers in sync. Um, in sync. Um, but your thoughts will become a lot more clearer because your past is physically no longer in your life. Moving forward, again, you're like, okay. Person could have been a good person, but they just not, we just not on the same frequency. We don't like the same things. It, there's this uncomfortable conversation going on. You know, it's almost like, you know how you're talking to somebody Sagittarius and it could be like a gap, like a pause, like, okay, I'm not really connecting with that person, right? Again, does it make them bad? Does it make you bad? No. Sometimes, and this is not you Sagittarius, sometimes people mistake the gap in the conversations as, oh, I don't like what that person said. That's not me. You don't even have to vibrate low. It just is what it is. We're not talking about the same things. It doesn't make that person bad. But let me tell you, now that they're out of your life, it frees up more opportunity for more money to be released to you, right? Multiple streams of income. Again, um, people who have intentionally hurt you, they're going to fall anyway. That's the karma that they created for themselves. So that's not something that you ever even have to worry about. You shed your tears. You've used your energy that way. And, and it actually added as a detox for you. Like you got it out of your system. And your ancestors said, go ahead and cry it out. Get it out. We're right here. We're watching over you, protecting you. You don't even have to be sad. You don't even have to be, you know, once you get it out of your system, you don't even have to be sad anymore because brighter days are coming, right? Like I said, somebody is moving into their new house or refinancing or their new apartment uh, but I see you or buying a warehouse or buying some kind of a structure, right? And I see you celebrating plus multiple streams of income. Also, a lot of people are looking up to you all as this, um, even though you're, you're Sagittarius, this, this card right here, the Emperor card, is attached to Aries, right? And so if you have Aries in your chart, you're fully tapped into that Aries part of your si yourself too. Again, fire sign that strong leadership. Some people are looking up to you as like having this amazing self-confidence, this strong leader, someone who is brave, someone who is creative, someone who has positive energy. You see what I'm saying, Sagittarius? People are really, really just appreciative to have you in their space. That's what I'm saying. This moon card is attached to Pisces, right? So again, this full moon energy for you will let you know, I mean, it's fully illuminating. And this happens every single month. These moon phases happen every single month. Doesn't matter if this, this kind of moon, that kind of moon, this kind of moon. We're talking about the eight major moon phases. So this right here is letting you know, hey, you know what? If you really slow down and think about it, you can kind of get in, in front of it. So you don't have to worry about, well, why is this happening to me? And why am I thinking about this person again? And they used, they really hurt me. Redirect your energy to what did I learn from that situation moving forward? Yes. Also, your money is directly atta attached to you being very down to earth and very relatable, right? This is the um, money and wealth, the pentacles card, which is attached to earth, 
the earth element, right? So this is you being very down to earth, very relatable. This is earth mother energy. Uh, people also having a very nurturing spirit, that kind of thing. That's what's attached to your money. But yeah, so let's pull an oracle card and see what this has to say. And again, we're not doing numbers today. We're only going to do a straight reading on today. Stay tuned on Sunday for the numbers to return. Yes. We are over here celebrating one year. Yesterday was one year for Queen Amunra Tarot to be on YouTube. So we're celebrating, celebrating, celebrating. Thank you all for sending me your text messages and kind words via direct message, email, that kind of thing. I really appreciate each and every one of you all. So I just want to say thank you. Just wanted to pause for a second and say thank you for supporting my channel. I appreciate it. Health checkup. Yeah. You'll start to see the more and more you bring your emotions and your uh, your uh, mentality forward. Because a lot of you all have left situations physically, but you could be still talking about it, still thinking about it, still kind of sort of reminiscing on some things. And so when the moon, when it's a full moon, it doesn't necessarily help either because it, it, it illuminates every part of us, everything around us and everything within us. So you could be thinking about having gone through a challenging relationship with somebody or maybe somebody's. Um, but again, you want to apply best practices. What did I learn from that situation, right? Moving forward. Now I'm taking all of me in totality, my mind, my body and spirit moving forward. I'm closing that door and I'm moving forward and I'm looking better. I'm looking forward to, uh, better things happening for me, like your house, like multiple streams of income, like getting your power back, having all these major breakthroughs happening one right after the other. So again, get your health checkup. And see, you'll see that some of you all, your blood pressure has gone down. Some of your, your numbers are looking better than they've looked in a long time, especially when you move everything forward, your mind, body, and spirit moving forward. You're not even stressed thinking about that anymore. So it happens again every month. So um, next month, the the you know another cycle, right? Another cycle. And so you already know what to expect ahead of time. So it's just time to start getting in front of it so that you, it's not affecting you in such a way where you're focusing on, um, the wrong thing, like why this person did it, who did it, that kind of thing. You're now focused on, okay, it happened. I know it's a full moon. That's what's being illuminated right now. Maybe I was giving a little thought, but now I'm so glad that I'm not where I used to be. I'm glad I'm grateful for where I am right now that kind of energy. That's what I have for you, Sagittarius. Have a fantastic week. But then again, I know you will because that's the intention you set, right? Bye.